Greetings, mortal beings, and welcome to Realm Beyond the Confines of Your Wildest Imagination. I am the architect of worlds, the weaver of fates, the divine maestro orchestrating the symphony of existence. Today we are not merely spectators, but privileged witnesses to the genesis of civilizations, as I, your benevolent deity, mold and shape the tapestry of reality itself. Now mortals, time for episode 2 of the universe. Right, so that's a new baby called what, Sushi or something? I'm just calling you Sushi. What did that say? Come here. I can't wait to grow up. It's going to be awesome, right? <laughs> Just wait till you've got bills to pay, you've got mouths to feed, you need a job. And ironically, as if by some weird stroke of fate, Sushi actually becomes the civilization's first fisherwoman, and she dedicates her entire life to the open waters and feeding this village with fish every day. I mean, I don't know where the kids are staying, because it's saying that only these two people live in here. Adahi's family, and they're saying there's no youngsters. There is. They've got, like, four kids. You look a little confused. Don't worry, I expected as much. I know you have questions, but you'll learn everything in time. On your own, without bothering me. <laughs> okay then, I'm sorry. Oh, God, that gave me a fright. Oh, so Salom and Alam have agreed to make a production on... God, brother and sisters are going to be going at it. Oh, I don't know what's worse. I mean, they were the original two nuggets. It was at this moment I was asked to help one of my little nuggets build their home, so I did. So I have to help her finish her hut. How? You know how holy water is made, Creator? You boil the hell out of it. Unfortunately, it's so cold out here, even the pumps are frozen. So she needs wood now. So, you've uprooted a tree. Now what? I've just got more believers than you can ever imagine. Yeah, I'm a nice god. I helped her. And with the aid of our divine intervention, our little nuggets were able to complete their house. I mean, I don't think I can build it quicker for them, but... I helped them build it. There we go. I just love how the landscape changes, like... Summer, autumn, now winter. I mean, I gave you the gift of fire. Do you know how to use it? Oh my goodness. Ah, the wonders of biological life. It is truly, truly disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With more buildings being erected, it was time some of our nuggets took some extra responsibility and took on the role of being engineers. I mean, they do cover, like, quite a big area. I need to zoom out a bit. So we need to make sure that they've got the wheel in. And I'm going to put it up here. Faith has entered the world. So what have I to do? Assign one of your nuggets to a vacant building. Okay, so this needs... What is this anyway? Oh, it's a temple, right? So I think at Adahi. He was the original. You've told them we don't cover dental, right? Right, so he's got a hat. 
As with any good society, you need a lovely place to wine and dine yourselves, so the next thing we build is a lovely restaurant. Right, can I build anything new now? So... So, we can build a Stone Age eatery. This could be a nice little place for a restaurant. And next, of course, we'd need a place to treat our very misguided nuggets. And trust me, they do become very misguided. And what else could we build? Um, a hospital. You can put the hospital up next to the mountain. So we've got nice views when they're in the hospital. So we will need engineers. Um, so is this their strength? So you're very strong. You can be an engineer. And as God to these little nuggets, I couldn't help but feel a sense of pride at how well our little community was coming along. So now we're doing pretty good. We've got a hospital getting built. We've got two houses. We've got a little restaurant. We've got a temple going. I don't know what these things are to... I think I can maybe drop people in here. And I wasn't wrong, if ever I was in a pinch and really needed some extra godly power, I could indeed drop my own citizens in here. I was of course curious to see if I could do the same with animals. So I cannot put the bear in a temple. Right, okay, I'll put you back over here. Mr. Bear. Excuse me? I put him right down next to the ground. Um, apparently I don't know my own strength. <laughs> <laughs> the time had come to pick our resident doctor and I made the choice of Salem. Right, so where's the hospital then? Because I'll need to assign somebody to be like the healer. Is this the hospital? Yep. Fishing complete. Nice. The time had come to now build our first pillar of industry for the civilization, a fishing pier. With fishing being so sustainable, it would become an invaluable source of food for our little nuggets here. Interesting idea, taking to the water for more food. But what happens if the water freezes over? Well, they'll have other things to eat. Ancient burial complete. As with every carbon-based life form, unfortunately there is a cycle of life and death. So now is the time to build a place where our nuggets could go and honour their lost loved ones. So I don't really want this to be... too near everybody. So why don't I just like maybe put it over here? I then put my godly powers to good use and decide to use them to help them collect all the materials needed to build the graveyard. I am a nice god. For the time being anyway. Oh, we're doing this again, are we? You're looking a little weak, creator. Doubt it. I've hardly touched any of my points. Don't lie to me. It was at this point the voice in my head told me that one of my nuggets needed help. A nugget is in great pain, creator. I don't know how they keep doing this to themselves. And with a flick of my godly wrist, they were as good as new. I don't want to be evil to them, do you know what I mean? This sentiment, um, seems alright for now, but I'm just going to pre-warn you that 
does kind of change in the future, but that's a story for another time. The time is now upon us to build somewhere to store all our excess food and materials, in case we need it for another day. <clears throat> a Stone Age warehouse. Ah, so this needs a person. Okay, so sushi, you can be you can be a fisher. What's going on here? <laughs> sushi roll, sushi roll, sushi roll. I've got some new powers. I think kickstart, electrify. Holy ground, forestation, trickle. Ah, right, see, that wasn't there before. My oh, goodness, somebody's, um... When you see a hut rocking, it's good manners to avert your gaze, creator. Yeah, don't come a-knockin' when this hut's a-rockin'. A nugget has started believing in you after my recent actions. Too right they should. I am their god, after all. What I really don't know is why there is a grinding machine built into my temple. I wonder if you can drop people into it, because you used to be able to do that in black and white, and this game is really quite like black and white. And now it's time for the next big step in our civilization's progression. Right, so here's a town hall. Where can that go? Make a nugget angry enough to leave your village. What do you mean? Who's left? Most nuggets are only slightly less qualified than you are at running a civilization, creator. What? Who left? Little did I know that my nuggets could leave if they were unhappy and start rival civilizations. Nobody, I don't think. I was yet again called upon by my nuggets to help them as one of their small babies had wandered off into the woods where there was a wild pack of wolves. Rejoice, creator. Your nuggets have experienced democracy for the first time and chosen Adahi's successor. Let's hope the process will continue to be a good one for them. Is that him? No. Maybe a god, but I mean finding a baby on an entire planet in the woods by himself? was like finding a needle in a haystack. I can hear the bloody wolves, but where's the little kid? As the howls of the wolves grew louder, I knew I had to be close. Right, I think it must be around here somewhere because I can only really hear the wolves when I'm in this area. No, nope, so she's painting. It appears exiles have formed a new village. It really baffles the mind why Nuggets would choose to live without your astute wisdom and... Uh, actually, that makes a lot of sense. Your bloody sarcasm. Is this the baby? It is, I think. Thank God. Well, I mean, thank me. I'd found a little blighter. Can someone please get that nugget a fresh pair of underwear? Interesting. I thought they'd enjoy flying. I guess I was wrong. Help me!
Oh, Jesus, I thought he was going to die there. Well, at least that election is over. Now everyone can resume their daily lives while the leaders do their best to ruin them. And just like that, our little nuggets had elected their first mayor of the village. I was just about to compliment you on your fantastic new ice sculptures. But then I realized those were just frozen nuggets. <laughs> <clears throat> right, so the fishing's closed down for now. And so's the water pump, but at least I can fill this with rain water see so that's a plus um forecast tower what is this the wolves are hungry creator and your nuggets are apparently a tasty looking meal where it wasn't long before the wolves were knocking at our door, and I certainly wasn't going to let them get any of my little nuggets. Where are the wolves? Well, I never did find the wolves, but unfortunately we had our first death due to old age. Oh, Jesus. What? <gasps> a nugget death. All nuggets have to die eventually. It can be as a result of old age or some kind of injury. If they're not buried in time, their bodies will begin to generate disease. Nearby nuggets can become sick and will require medical attention. I'm afraid one of your nuggets has passed away. Death can happen so suddenly. However, the death of one does not necessarily mean the end of everything. It was simply their time to go. Don't blame yourself, creator. Well, unless you were actually responsible, I wasn't paying attention. I had to use my healing powers to heal the land. That'll fix them right up. It turns out not sacrificing nuggets made the world a kinder place. Who would have thought? No! I must admit, my efforts here were meant to be valiant, but I ended up chucking the dead body around like a ragdoll by accident. But I do eventually get it to the graveyard. Ah, so there he's been buried now. We only have three labourers. I can't afford to put somebody in there right now. You just need to start making babies. Make the more babies. And just as quickly as it had came, the snow began to melt, hopefully ushering in that warmer weather. Thank God that snow is really annoying. The spring setting and nuggets everywhere can look forward to having fish served. Yay! And with the spirit of spring in mind, I decided to give the land a quick spring blessing. And as you can see, all those lovely wild spring flowers just pop up from the ground as if by magic. I think I might build another water wheel. Or maybe just another reservoir, actually. With this extra reservoir, it meant that the other half of the town could also access that much needed water. 
And with that, guys, we have reached the end of episode 2 of the Universum. I appreciate your time if you're still here at the end of this video. Um, our little civilization's coming along great. Um, stay tuned for episode 3, which will be out next week at some point. Um, thanks for your time again. Click the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Wow, 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 wow.